Hi, I'm Graham Melly from Scope AR, and what we're going to show you today is a WorkLink project we created using no CAD models whatsoever. So the example that we chose is a pretty basic one. It's a car, and what we want to do is show some under-the-hood processes. We want to show AR instructions for that, uh, available on a HoloLens or any kind of a tablet in a pinch. We want to track that maintenance. We want to know when it's being done, how it's being done, where it's being done, and by who. And it's a good example because we own the equipment, but we don't have access to any 3D models for it, and we're unlikely to get them from the vendor. The first thing you'll notice is that our instructions don't need to use detailed models. Remember, the users are looking at the actual equipment. That means a well-placed arrow, tool, or even simple shapes are all that is needed to give some pretty sophisticated guidance. All of that basic content is included in WorkLink, and it's easy to add images or photos when and where they're needed. You can even capture video with a smartphone and add it to a step when it makes sense. So with the instructions taken care of, that leaves us one last challenge for working without CAD models. And that's in the authoring environment, how do we know exactly where to place those instructions if we can no longer see the car? So in this particular project, what we did was we added two additional models. One of them is just an outline of the body of the car. That's really just so people who download the demo can understand how this all fits together and see a representation of the car. We would never show that to our end users. The engine, on the other hand, is much more important. That's the second model. And what that does is allows us to have a framework, a reference framework that we can use to place those instructions accurately. We don't need to show that to our end user. We just need to use it within the authoring environment to know where everything should go. And that makes all the difference. The best part is this model was captured live in about 15 minutes using a smartphone equipped with a 3D camera. We found this type of device to be a great fit for providing these reference models for WorkLink. Once you have context, adding instructions is the easy part. So thanks for watching and be sure to follow and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news from Scope AR.